When I think about Chinatown, it's not just an ethnic enclave of Chinese, but it's actually, to me, a metaphor for the global city. It's a neighborhood of immigrants. It's a neighborhood that has deep, deep historical roots and the really the beginnings of uh, the American narrative. I don't think at the time when they took over this gallery as a pop-up that they even thought about how it would change the landscape of this stretch alone. And now we have a luxury tower next door. Oh, yeah, We want, I think, to draw attention to the meaning of this neighborhood and what will happen to New York you know, if it disappears, if it's erased. The Chinatown Art Brigade is a cultural collective that's made up of artists, cultural workers, activists, residents and tenants of Chinatown who are committed to social justice and activism in Chinatown. We were just talking about different like stickering campaigns that would be cool and <laughs> we could do it in English and it could be gentrification in progress or it could be stop gentrification mm -hmm. and we could decide. In terms of the makeup of the workshop it's been great that it's not just artists that are a part of the collective but people who really just want to do something. So when I first came, um, my first reaction when I saw that the living space was so small, I cried. I first came to CAB because my landlord wanted to kick us out and he wanted us to be out in 30 days. So thankfully there was a union of tenants that could help us. After that group walk, I think a lot of folks really felt something special about it, felt really connected. During our first stop after the mini presentation that was given by one of the residents, um, folks just automatically started writing messages on the ground in chalk. It was great because it wasn't a tour that was given by one or two people, but it was a tour that everybody had a role in. So we projected across the street from a building where um, tenants are organizing against a landlord who's using predatory tactics to displace them. And so we projected their stories in Chinese and in English. So we chose the projection locations through discussion, but also based on where there would be a high amount of foot traffic and vehicular traffic. So the People's Pad is something that the Illuminator created and it, it was basically a way for folks to write messages that would be live projected onto a surface. It's intentionally inviting people to take part in, in looking at the neighborhood, adding to it, and seeing how it can be revisioned. Um, so, uh, if we can sort of establish ourselves as this platform for people to voice how they see the world and their community in it, I think that would be the best impact.